a classic case from 1964. The Lonnie Zamora incident of April 24, 1964, outside of Socorro, New Mexico. This is definitely one case that still fascinates me even after all these years. It happened on April 24th, 1964, just outside a small town called Socorro in the state of New Mexico, USA. Was it a US-made experimental craft? I doubt it. Was it NASA's lunar module? I highly doubt it. NASA would never mistakenly or even intentionally test fly its lunar module way beyond its test range and land on a populated area. Was it a prank orchestrated by some college students of nearby New Mexico Tech, as some researchers such as Anthony Bergaglia and Frank Stalter later started claiming? I am quite skeptical that it was a college student's prank, even after reading such theories as posted. If it was a college student's prank, how such a hoax might be pulled off has never been fully explained. Some claim that a rear projection device was stolen from the college on the day of the Zamora UFO incident. However, it is not likely that a rear projection device would have been of any use in creating an illusion in the desert in full sunlight. While we might suppose that two students wearing white coveralls may have made some marks in the ground and released a helium balloon when Zamora arrived, it is difficult to see how they removed themselves from the scene before Officer Chavez arrived minutes later. Could a bunch of college students develop a shiny, polished, metallic oval object that could take off into the distant sky at an incredible rate of speed, as was described by experienced law enforcement officer Lonnie Zamora? Or was this a mischievous but purposely staged event, orchestrated not by some college students, but by some unknown paraphysical entities, who, for some inexplicable reason, suddenly materialized themselves, temporarily breaking through the barrier of dimension and presented to a pre-selected observer, that is, Lonnie Zamora a staged scenario, as if he were watching an extraordinary extraterrestrial type of visitation? It is not an exaggeration to say that this case was exactly what attracted me to come to New Mexico and became my secondary reason for coming to New Mexico all the way from Japan. By an unbelievable coincidence, I had been offered a partial scholarship to attend a college the following year here in New Mexico. After arriving at Albuquerque in 1965, unfortunately my college studies began to continuously preoccupy me until 1973 when I had moved to Arizona to become a high school teacher and I regretted the fact that I had never had the privilege of meeting Mr. Samora in person in Socorro. However, in 2008, when my wife and I moved back to New Mexico to retire, after living and working in California, I decided to call him on the telephone from Rio Rancho, which was our new residence. I had a very pleasant conversation with him on the telephone, even though it was only for a few minutes or so. He was such a friendly sounding person, a very polite and pleasant sounding gentleman. He was already a 75 year old senior citizen by that time, but his mind still seemed to be very sharp and he verified to me on the phone his unforgettable sighting, just as it had been reported in the newspapers 45 years ago. He told me, come on over but I never had a chance to meet him. He passed away the following year, in 2009, I was told later. 
I firmly believe the Loni Zamora case was a legitimate case in every sense of the word. As to what the object was, that is a separate question. It is still unsolved. It is still a mystery. What impressed me was that Lonnie described the two persons of rather short stature as wearing some type of white coveralls. Lonnie initially described them as more or less, quote unquote, normal people. Above is just an artist illustration, not an actual photo. In any case, this is definitely a noteworthy case. Please look at the best short video on the Socorro incident as it's indicated in this article. Also, please see Captain Richard T. Holder's comment on the Socorro incident. Here's also an interesting letter from C.B. Moore, Professor Atmospheric Physics and Chairman, Langmuir Laboratory at New Mexico Text, courtesy of Ben Moss and Tony Angiola. Here's the main portion of this 1981 letter. Quote, in regards to the unidentified sighting by Officer Zamora in 1964, I have investigated this on my own and it can assure you that there is little probability that it had anything to do with students of the Institute. If we can believe Officer Zamora and there is no reason except for the strangeness of the ob observation that we should not, then it appears that he saw a lunar landing module, but his observation was at least 12 months before the module was first tested here. We have no further information, no conclusion about this report. Sincerely, C.B. Moore, Professor of Atmospheric Physics and Chairman, Langmuir Laboratory of New Mexico Tech. By the way, here's an interesting comment by Nipper Downey on the Insignia controversy, mainly because someone claimed that the Insignia seen on the outside of the craft was not the one shown on illustrations. Once again, please read this fascinating article on the Lonnie Samora case that took place on April 24th, 1964, just outside of Socorro, New Mexico, USA. This is Norio Hayakawa in Albuquerque, New Mexico.